Hi, I'm Brandon Nonan with Eagles Drinking Water Division, and I'm going to show you how to use a 250-750 bottle kit from the Eagle Lab. First, when you get your kit, you'll open it up and take a look at what's in it. There's two bottles. This bottle is the 250 milliliter bottle. This is the 750 milliliter bottle. And then there's two pieces of paper in these as well. The first piece of paper kind of explains what this 25750 test kit is going to do for you. The back side here is an example of the lab report that you'll receive after these samples get analyzed. This colored piece of paper here, there's two different sides to it. This front side is all about getting your information down so that when you send this in, we know exactly who took the sample and where to send the results back to. The back side here is all information about how to take the sample. You'll want to make sure that you review these documents thoroughly, but I'm going to discuss much of it right here. All right. So as you're starting to get ready to collect your sample, the first thing to know is that you must have let your whole house water remain motionless for at least six hours prior to sampling, meaning you don't want to flush the toilet, you don't want to run your shower or sinks or use your dishwasher or your laundry machines. You want everything to stay without water use for at least six hours. So this works really good right after you get up in the morning or right when you've got home from work if you've been gone and the house has sat stagnated for that whole time. Okay, so right now my house has been sitting here stagnant for at least six hours. So I'm going to use a bathroom tap. You could use a kitchen tap as well. It all just depends. If you want to do a kitchen and a bathroom, you'll have to do them on two separate occasions so that you can stagnate the water each time. All right. The very first bottle you fill up is going to be your 250 milliliter bottle. And then you're going to follow that with your 750 milliliter bottle. This goes pretty quick. So you want to make sure that you have your stuff kind of set up. So as you can see, I've taken my caps off my bottles. I've set my bottles aside, my caps aside, so that I'm ready to go. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have it towards the cold water side. You do not want to sample the hot water. So as you can see on my faucet, that's all the way right. Puts it into cold water. I'm going to turn this on and start filling this bottle. As soon as I start filling this bottle and it gets full, I'm going to swap this next bottle in until it's full. And then I'm going to turn the water off. I'm going to do this all as, in as fluid of a motion as possible. So here we go. Make sure you get it at least to the neck. And then switch over to your other side. Notice I, I didn't lose hardly any water at all. Maybe a little drip in the sink, which is fine. But I did a pretty good job of hitting that right on. Get it all the way up to the top here. Turn it off. Recap your samples. Double check your paperwork is filled out completely. Put everything back in the bag it came in. You might have to dry off your bottles because you don't want the you don't want any of your paperwork to get wet. So you might want to make sure to dry your bottles good. Like so. Once that paperwork is all done, your bottles are all dry, put everything back in the bag that's in here, and then return it to the location that was indicated for you where you picked up your sample. And they'll get off to the lab to get analyzed.